Hello and welcome to what to... Yeah, to what to? To what to? To what will be, unless I am hit by a sudden bout of reversal, the last Slasham video. Well, other than the normal rush at the end. We are going to be Lord British, because I've been playing Ultima recently. Rah. We are... a yeoman. We are going to be a human yeoman. We are going to be male. We are going to be lawful. Play has written the book of His Majesty. Seek the amulet of Yendor. We have uh, two tribrations. We have 47 gold. We have a saddled pony, which if we went on there would probably get us killed. And the bag's fine. We have a plus two short sword, a load of levers. We have a fishing pole, strangely, which we might even be able to use as a weapon. I didn't bother looking up the yeoman class. I don't normally bother looking up any of them, to be honest, though. Uh, short sword, pole arms, and we can ride. Techniques, calm steed. That's probably a reasonable one. Anyway, onward for Britannia. There's a potion, and there's a lichen. We killed it. It didn't drop a corpse, though. I am sad. But not really. Let's continue onwards. It is some cheese. I haven't seen cheese in ages. I mean, I think we actually left it behind, if I remember rightly. When we fought off the army of rats. It's probably the most successful point of the LP, killing all those rats. Oh well. You never know. I'm being a bit defeatist. We really shouldn't be. Because assuming this class, I mean... It doesn't have the armour of the knight class, but... Strangely, that might be better for us. We'll see. We want to get to level 2 or level 3 because we want to have additional hit points. I'm assuming the Partisan will count as um, a sort of lance, but I'm not sure on that one. Hmm, an emerald ring. Where's that pony got to? I want you... Seems to be avoiding it, which is a bad sign. Let's drop the emerald ring. It does not want to move across. Alright, come on then. So, it's a cursed ring. And we're going round in circles. This way, Quicksilver. I assume you're called Quicksilver. If not, I shall call you Quicksilver. Well, it's a pony at the moment, but I shall call you Quicksilver anyway. If we can get you up to Warhorse level, we got a vain chance of um, making some success. But again, that's defeatism. And oh dear god, it's an army of rabbits! And rats! And more rats! And the pony has killed a bat. And I really thought I killed my pony there. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, drops the rabbit corpse. I suppose we can eat the rabbit corpse since... Um, whoop. I actually hadn't meant to eat the cheese. I meant to save the cheese. Now well, we ate the rabbit. Or at least in killing a bat. That should have done the pony some good. Let's just chat. I think it's okay. Let's drop consumables. One apple. Okay, what's on me? Misses. Yay! Well done! Fud. Right, let us. There's a sink here. I really want to loot this one. Yes. We take something out. We have a scroll. Down here. There is another scroll, which is actually fine, so we'll take that as well. Is it the same? They are. So the pony is determined to take that cobalt corpse with us, and I saw something back there. 
But apparently it's nothing we want to worry about. We're hit by an arrow, 17 gold pieces. For a yeoman, they're supposed to be sort of lesser nobility. You'd think we'd have more money. Well, kill the kobold. Uh, okay, Acid Bob is destroyed. Is that a Acid Bob corpse? No, that's the kobold corpse. So we have to wake our way all the way back around. Oh god. I regret everything! Well, that was painful, but it didn't kill our horse. Let us, um, drop one apple. You know, that was not necessarily the most intelligent of things I've done in this, um, LP. Although it is a match for some of them. Oh dear. Yay! We have more pets! We killed a jackal and the other jackal. And we have a tengu! I'm assuming it's a tengu. Well, if His Majesty wants to give me a tengu, we're gonna. Oh, whoops. See how one. Then that's all the better for us. I just wish we could level up so I could actually try and ride the horse for a bit. Yay, a completely concealed room, but we found the entrance early enough. I didn't really go over the stats, but we have 17 strength. We're not an apostate sword. Not weak by any means. Um, I'm going to let the pets deal with these ones. Uh. Where's the Tengu? Tengu! We wish to have you deal with an annoying problem. Because that's going to kill me if I do much more to it. The Tengu of His Majesty is very cold. And there's acid there. I'm going to die to a load of fungi. There's someone cursing shoplifters. The curse. I don't know if we have a code of honor for this. I'm not sure. It's locked. Let's kick him the door. There's a shopkeeper level, but I don't care. If this is going to be our last character, I'm going to play him stupidly, like all the rest. Push the boulder, nothing there. We're level 2, we killed an acid blob. Uh, the shopkeeper must be in the upper area then, because I didn't actually scan that very well. Right, let us... no, we'll wait till we got more than 20 hit points. That would be... that would just sum up the LP actually, dying due to failing to get on the horse. The Tengu of His Majesty is most excellent. This food, however, is not. With two pets and being blinded, this is a recipe for... Hey, we can see again. This is a recipe for disaster. I do not approve of it. No, we've, we've sacrificed ourselves against one of these things. We're not doing it again. Tengu, I demand... That you deal with him. They seem to have my point of view on this one. And my point of view is do not get within a hundred yards of it if possible. Yay! We have a saddled pony we are now riding. Boom! We're hungry. Let us consume... Tripe ration. You are feeling mildly nauseated. 
Oh dear. You can't seem to think straight. That was a bad move. In fact, we might be deathly sick here. Right. Do not eat dog food. Lesson for life, that one. Thankfully, being on a pony... And we're going to have to come off now. You've been through the dungeon on a... It's, yeah. Horse with no name, but... I always He's always Quicksilver to me. And no! Quicksilver! I shall avenge your death. It's obviously the gnome's fault. Well, I don't have a lot le else left to lose, really, to be honest. Actually, we never did apply the bag. No, there's nothing in there. I shall avenge your death, or just die horribly in very, very quick order, because we're still level 2. I can't really fight gnomes yet. <laughs> we're desperate to try things now, I'll be honest. No, 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 we're not desperate to do that. Uh, cool drought refreshes me. Well, we won't attack my snakes, which is what normally happens. Let's try it here. Water gushes forth from the overflowing fountain. Well. I mean, the vague chance of a what? Hey, we still have Tengu. Tengu? There's a floating eye over there, and I want you to attack it. Tengu, why did you not attack it? Uh, too far. Do you know what? This is so ridiculous, and yet... We're fishing for eyeballs. Huzzah! This is actually working reasonably well. Uh, I should remember what it is. Apply eye. On the eye. We hook ourselves! No! That was terrible! Supply eye again. Reel in the floating eye. Uh, this isn't actually the way it should go. Floating eye is killed. Well, I guess that kind of worked. Strange mental acuity, and we're still weak. Let's eat. Apple. Eat. Apple. Eat apple. Eat apple. Right. Wheel day. Charge! Ah, oh, dear. This has been a somewhat random game of this, I have to be honest. Right, let's see if we can kill the Gnome Lord. Hey, Vatengu can. In fact, Vatengu is quite awesome. Let's eat the Gnome Lord. Come on, Tengu. He's got his majesty. Has set a task for us, and we kill a centipede. Huzzah! And level three. Right now, we're able to hit things. With force. Ooh. And no. And my phone's gone off. Two moons. Uh, I should reply to that. Uh, I don't know. Second time of asking. I suppose we're friend. I suppose it's because we're lawful. Tengu can deal with things. Gnomes! Tastes terrible, finish eating. We are going to 
kill all gnomes. Uh, please don't kill his Tingo of His Majesty. Kill the Bramble. Well, this is obviously where something's. Oh, unless that was triggered already. I'll take a Dorish Cloak. Do not trigger that boulder trap. Brass Lantern will take. Yellow Potion will take. Gnome's Cobalt Mummy. We shall chase down and kill. Level 4. Gnome, which we kill. Another gnome, which we kill. Yeah, I thought it might be um, one of my old characters here, but... No! Oh, that's fine. As long as the is okay. I kind of need him. I'm also not sure if eating him's a good idea. Come on, you stupid Tengu. You can get out of a... <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay. Well, enough messing about. We know where the exit is. I'm starting to worry about my Tengu. I also should be worrying more about me. For some reason, we're hungry again. Huzzah! Right. I'll just get out of here without triggering that endlessly repeating trap. Hmm. I see things. We kill things. We eat things. Yum. Let's move on. Come back here. This looks terribly familiar. In fact, I think. This is terribly familiar. In fact, this... Yes. Okay. So there's a load of cursed stuff belonging to sushi. Oh, sparkling potion, I think. Yep. No, 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 we don't want to set the dwarf. The dwarf is fine. But these gnome lord... Oh god, there's loads of enemies here. Well, that high level. I'm gonna take the darts, though. Straw golem on the way. Go, Tengu! 11 hit points. Let's consume... A gnome corpse. That was a gnome zombie. Only one way out of this. We've got to pray. We feel much better. Right. Listen for life. Do not eat zombie flesh. It ends badly. Right. Milky potion. And if we head along here, there's a lot. So I think all we really want to do is go down another level. We're, we're in the shopkeeping level. Let's consume apple. We definitely seem to be going through food quite quickly. Also notice that we've got a dwarven cloak we're not using. Let's wear W. Alright, let's take off W because it didn't give us an armor bonus. Might be giving us a miscellaneous bonus though, so we won't quite get rid of it just yet. What we need to do here is find a temple. I hear a distant explosion. That's probably not the Tengu's fault. We're feeling hungry again. Apples do not have a lot of nutritional value. You know what does have good nutritional value though? Zombies that aren't undead. Ah! Teleporter. Getting to feel hungry. Gnome. Gnomish wizard. 34, 32. Sewer rat. 
Surat dropped a course, but I'm not eating that. Ah, beetle. Yeah, run away. What's in there? There's a med kit. There's a can of grease. No food. Run away. Gnomes over there. A couple of mechs. I'd rather not be a statue. Gnome people. Yay! Sacred place. Right, let's eat G. Eat G. Eat G. Don't really like doing that. Because they're used for blindness cures. Also, we're we're going through food like there's no tomorrow. Oh well. It's a neutral altar, but we can still use it for curse testing purposes. X. Few of these we're vaguely sure on, so. Ooh, lots of black. Yeah, there's an amber flash for a couple of things at least. So uncursed, uncursed, uncursed. And they're uncursed. Bless my potion. Yeah, we kind of gathered about the ring. Right, killed the gnome. Run away from the beetle. The beetle is not our friend. The tengu is our friend. Simultaneous digging is fun. No. Let me move past you. No! The dwarf is dead. Whatever will I do to get over this death? Well, the iron shoes would be quite good. I really want some food. Forgive me, dwarf. Everything goes dark. See, this is why you eat, keep carrots on reserve. I opened blind before and didn't use them. That's because I forgot about them. It happens. Down we go. Dungeon level 8. We're level 4. We're too weak for this, I'll be honest. But we have a Dengu and we're in a pit. And there's not a lot of other places we can go. So I bet down here. Ow. Nobody throws daggers at me. For that you shall be eaten. I was about to say, I hadn't noticed it, but I'm just being a bit confused about that. Anyway. Now I shall continue continue to greet you. A monkey! Well, there are several objects here, but mostly we're interested in the gnome corpse. People keep interrupting my meals, and they wonder why I'm always hungry. Have a dung worm. I feel more there we go. More confident in our weapon skills. Short sword is now up from basic to skilled. And we can perform a disarm technique. Kill the dung worm. Hmm. Supply our brass lantern. That's better. Might not last for very long, but saves us going around a bit blind. Poor Quicksilver. We barely knew him. Ah! No! Just because I was reminiscing about Quicksilver does not mean I want. No, actually. Let's quiver. Carrots. Fire. Yay! If only we remembered to take the saddle. By the way, we're hungry. Let's find something to eat. Come, my army of mismatched pets and companions. We must go and find food before I starve to death. But food that isn't dung worms, of course. Uh, 
Oh, I pity you, poor dwarf. But not that much. Right, so let's apply... Hmm, I think the fishing pole will be quite fun here. No, we're going to have to get round. Hey, he came right for us. And he dropped a gnome corpse, so we're not going to starve to death. However, everything we eat here appears to be... Uh, gonna have to... No, drop the... Drop the arrows. Is food not working? I just seem every time I eat something I get weaker. Alright, we're almost out of food then. Oh dear god. Uh pray. Your Majesty. Okay, much better. Let's go for it. We're gonna eat the baby grey dragon. Thing looks most powerful. We finish eating. Now, what's a grey dragon? Uh, silver's reflection might be magic resistance. Ow. Uh, okay. Kenwood Nell is probably then something. Not teleportation, I'd assume, or invisibility. If it was invisibility, though, we'd already be under attack. Assuming my horse has found them. Or oh, that's him over there. We killed my name, Lord. It all was good. Yeah, there's a dwarf corpse here. Uh, we're going to eat that. It tastes terrible. We finish eating. So, I guess we continue work going down. Alright. Our army of mismatched creatures. Oi. Now attacking. Several objects there. They're attacking my stuff, all of which should be okay. Gnome Lord is killed. And we can eat the Gnome Lord corpse. And also, we can eat the Gnome corpse. Okay, so we're now fully fed up. And they didn't mind walking across that, so we shall take the scroll with us. Red mold. And a shrieker. We kill the shrieker, we're level 6. There's a cursed club. I'm amazed that we're only level 6, but then we're using the Tengu to kill most things. We're stunned. We have full hit points, surprisingly. Uh, let's eat Gnomish Wizard. And then let's kill the Gnome Lord. Huzzah! I say we're doing rather well. Uh, oh, Dengu. Pony, thank you. One of you will do. Both of you will be preferred, I'll know, but... Gold! Oh, and you are attacking with a poison dagger! Pony seems okay, though. Did we ever find out if those were okay? Well, let's put them on and find out. Hmm. Oh, that's because I'm wearing high boots. Uh, let's take off. Take off. Nope. Oh, I'm not wearing the cloak. Well, another plus zero dwarvish cloak. No benefit, really. 
Nah, might as well leave it on. You never know. We know. Although we're lawful. What are we worrying about that for? Lawful unicorn isn't a problem to us. It's the other types that are a problem. And huzzah! You see that? That's a horse. Increased attack power, increased hit points. And he picks up gnome corpses for us. Jackal's a bit unusual. It'd be quite good to have a war horse, aren't I honest? Uh, round shield, helm. We're not wearing a helm, actually. Let's wear... Nope. Wear. You, AC2. And also, if we wear... T, AC0. Okay. So, we're AC0. We have... A plus two short sword, which we are partially skilled with. Let's just check something. Yep. We have a horse, although we are missing its saddle. We can probably get that back. And then Slashing will continue for at least one more video. Somewhat surprised to me, actually, although, mind you, I tend to do well with these basic fighting classes. I don't know. Anyway, until next time, then. It's quite a long video, actually. Maybe it records okay.